Malcolm Online is the master conductor of the Jewish communal efforts. He has got the passion to inspire people, the knowledge to educate people. He had open doors in the White House. He's always on a plane or on a train. Every important Jewish cause that I can remember, Malcolm was involved in. Amazing amount of work behind the scenes. I find him to be a great leader. Malcolm has always found a way to present a common front. America's and Israel's secret weapon. Malcolm Online is a brand name. From a very young age, I got involved and was drawn to politics, but not because of the political aspects of it, but because I really believed that for Jews, to be able to have a say, they had to be involved. Whenever there's a question or a problem, who do we go to first for answers? It's to Malcolm. Malcolm is able to span the broad spectrum of Jews from the most reform or even non-religious to the most ultra-orthodox, because that's just who he is. For so many years, to keep so many Jewish organizations at one table, Everybody who tried to do it with two or three organizations knows how it is impossible. The way I keep them together is I give them a common enemy, me. He's got the capacity to bring people together. He doesn't beat up on people. He basically tries to persuade them with his logic, with his knowledge, and with his passion. His availability, his energy, his dynamism became a legend. He is balanced. He listens to everyone's point of view. Malcolm is the intermediary in so many ways between the United States and Israel. Whenever I needed to understand better the thought and the way things worked in Washington, D.C., there was no one better to consult than Malcolm Hornlein. He had opened doors in the White House in all the different administrations, with all the different presidents, with all the different powers of the United States in a period of 30 years. So much that happens in the American and Israeli relationship would not happen if Malcolm wasn't there. Malcolm is always operational. He is indefatigable. In fact, uh, he exhausts everybody around him, including myself, when we work with him. There's nothing more rewarding than knowing that you've impacted someone's life, let alone played a role in the rescue of Syrian Jews and Ethiopian Jews and Russian Jews and Iranian Jews and Iraqi Jews. This is something no recession can take away. This is something that at the end of our days we can look back and say that we did good. If there were no Malcolm Honeline, we'd have to invent him. <laughs>